Hey guys, Zoeb here from OneGlanceTrader.com and welcome back to my Baby Pips Forex Education video series. If you're just tuning into the Baby Pips uh, video series and you want to go back and look at all the other videos inside the elementary section, uh, you can head over to my channel One Glance Trader and go to the playlist sections where you will see all the different playlists regarding Baby Pips videos. So in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, basic Japanese candlesticks and the actual page within baby pips which I've just got open now talks about three basic candlestick patterns the first one is the uh, spinning top which is an indecision uh, candle uh, the second being the marabozu which is a confirmation candle of you know either the bears or the bulls being in being control for that particular set uh, session and then lastly, we've got the uh, doji, again, another indecision candle. And for those of you who do follow my work, uh, I have got an indicator called the OGT price action indicator. And that does encompass the actual doji in the uh, in the current latest version. So you can download my um, price action indicator by either going to oneglancetrader.com or clicking the link in the description completely free um, my gift to you so let's now crack on with the uh, with the videos i hope you like them marubazu is the exact opposite candlestick to doji as the doji represents indecision in a market marubazu shows total conviction about the price direction bullish marubazu open price is also the session's low and closing price is equal to the session's high. This candlestick have no shadows at all, showing that buyers were in control for the whole time of the session. Let's take a look at how bullish Marubazu forms. As soon as session started, bulls were in charge. They were driving the price up for the whole session and it closed at its high. Bearish Marubazu open price is equal to the session's high and closing price is also the session's low. The same as the bullish version of the candlestick, this also had no shadows indicating that sellers had control over the price action the whole session. Just as soon as the session started, bears pushed the price lower. They drove the price down till the end of the session, where it closed at its low. The Marubazu candle signal have no real trading implications on its own. However, as it clearly shows the current market sentiment, it can be helpful in situations like breakouts or reversals. As the price has broken the resistance level, the bullish Marubazu shows that there were no selling pressure from the bears, giving a larger probability that the breakout has been successful. Or, a bearish Marubazu with resistance could indicate a complete change of the current market sentiment and could lead to further decline. Okay, so the first pattern that we're going to look at, or the first candlestick type that we're going to look at, is what's known as a spinning top. And a spinning top, as you can see here, is a candlestick with a short body in the middle of two longer wicks. Um, when this forms in the market, it's, a, it's indicative of a situation where neither buyers nor sellers have won that time period, so to speak, um, as the market has closed relatively unchanged from where it opened. Um, the upper and lower wicks tell us that at one point the buyers were in control dri driving the market up to the top uh, to form the top high there and also at one point the sellers were in control but at the end of the time period um, the market had closed you know close to where it opened uh, and this is indicative of a market condition with uh, some indecision in the market um, if this type of uh, candlestick forms in a range bound market the range bound market is already indicative of indecision in the market so that doesn't really tell us anything however if this type of pattern forms uh, after a trend in the market then um, that indecision uh, can represent a turning point or a reversal point in that trend so you can see here uh, we have a downtrend and then we have a spinning top which forms at the bottom of that downtrend representing some indecision in the market there 
um, and sort of a warning sign that that trend may be reversing. Now, obviously, hindsight's 2020 here, and this pattern is going to show up um, sometimes in the market. It's not going to reverse, so you're going to want to confirm this with other things. Uh, but this is just a good example of a situation where uh, the spinning top uh, and the indecision that that does represent uh, did cause a market reversal here. Um, another candlestick pattern which is similar to the spinning top in terms of representing indecision in the market is called the doji and the difference between the uh, spinning top and the doji is the doji um, the market closes um, almost or right at exactly where it opened um, and this is considered a stronger uh, signal to most traders than the spinning top uh, because the fact that the market with, with the spinning top the market didn't close exactly where it open because it has a body where here um, the candlestick doesn't even have a body because the market opened exactly where it closed indicating a lot of indecision in the market and again here if this forms after uh, or during a range bound condition in the market that's that's already indicative of a lot of indecision in the market um, or a, you know the battle between the buyers and the sellers not being won by either However, if this pattern forms uh, after a trend in the market, we can look to this as a potential uh, for reversal in the market. So you see, you can see here you have an uptrend in the market. Uh, you have a doji here that forms uh, as a part of that uptrend, and then we have a reversal uh, that that comes after that. Now, um, in in this example, I'm using a stochastic here. Um, to confirm that this might be a good place to place a trade and, and when traders find uh, these indecisive type uh, candlestick formations like the spinning top and the doji when the market is in, a, in an uptrend and it's in overbought conditions or in a downtrend and it's in oversold conditions they're going to place uh, extra emphasis on that so you can see here we were in an uptrend uh, we have an overbought condition we uh, have a doji and in addition to that um, we have divergence here we have the market uh, rallying um, up to new highs and we have the stochastic uh, going lower as the market does that so we do have a divergence there um, on the stochastic which if you remember from our lessons on stochastics the divergence in overbought conditions is indicative of a potential reversal um, so we have sort of two things confirming there then we do have the sell-off um, that results uh, after that and there you have it. I really hope you found that useful. I'd be very grateful if you could like, share and comment on this video and also take the time out just to subscribe to my channel. I really want to try get these educational videos out there to as many traders as possible and really show them the way that they can learn to better themselves in Forex trading and also become a more consistent and profitable trader. And I shall see you on the next video.